At first there was Allah and there was nothing but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the pen, write the details, the decree of everything. You look at our computing power today and you say, I have the power to program a world inside of a computer. Well, imagine in the future where you have even more power than that. And you can create characters that have free will. So this is a world. And I program in the laws that govern that world. 40 years ago, we had Pong, like two rectangles and a dot. 40 years later, we have photorealistic 3D simulations with millions of people playing simultaneously, and it's getting better every year. So if you wait long enough, there are going to be many, many more simulated universes than there are real ones. Statistically, Statistically. you're in the simulated one, not the real one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you really believe that we are in a simulation, and there's some structure that runs that simulation, it starts to break down a very funny barrier between the, what people often think is the conflict between science and the conflict between faith. I believe there's some, there's some explanation for this universe, which you might call God. This for them was the most convincing argument for a creator. The holographic principle is the idea. This 3D reality might be sort of like a holographic projection of more fundamental information and laws that exist and operate on a thin two-dimensional surface. The three-dimensional world is a kind of illusion. The ultimate precise reality is the two-dimensional reality at the surface of the universe. The preserved and protected tablet. And what is, what is life, life, life except, except for an illusion? illusion. 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 illusion.